in a fresh episode of NDDC scandal, Bajabia Mila threatens Akpabio. And what are the achievements of Akinwumi Adeshina in the AFDB? Can they see him through the investigative probe? This is Plus Politics, and I am Felicity Ezewike. Thank you for joining us on the program. Now, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Badabia Mila, has given the Minister of the Niger Delta Affairs, Godswila Kbabio, 48 hours to publish full details of lawmakers in the Night Assembly that have contracts from the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. The Speaker made the call while a point of order brought under a bridge of his privileges by the minority leader, Ndudi Elumelu. Elumelu had urged the House to call Akwabio to mention those who got contracts from the NDDC. Joining us to discuss this is political analyst Bernard Oniga. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We are also joined by a senior lecturer of Yaba College of Tech, Mr. Remy Ajiboye. A pleasure to have you join us as well. Okay, um, I'm told uh, we haven't established contact. As soon as that is done, we'll bring him into the conversation. We'll kick things off with Mr. Oniga. A 48 hours ultimatum uh, for Senator Pabio to publish full details of those who got contracts from the Knight Assembly. He seemed um, quite confident. Um, do you think he'll be able to do it within the time frame? Okay, the speaker has is said to have given um, Akbabio, uh, gov um, former Governor Goswil Akbabio, now Minister of the Niger Delta, De De Delta Affairs, 24 to 48 hours. Um, he, the, 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 let me say that the, mini the, the speaker is not the boss of the minister. The president, the commander in chief, is the boss of the minister. And so he does not have the right in quote to order the minister in the manner in which he is acting. Akpabio was in the floor of the house during the public hearing. There was a public hearing. The essence of a public hearing is to bring all facts regarding a matter open and in the clear glare of the public for every Nigerian to make the assessments and judge. You will re re recall that at the proceedings of that public, so-called public hearing, the Minister of the Niger Delta Affairs made this point known and clear that most of the contracts awarded from the NDDC were awarded to members of the House. You saw the very embarrassing scenario that played out at that so-called public hearing. The, 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 the chairman of that panel stopped the Honorable Minister from going ahead with that point. He even ordered the Honorable Minister to turn off his microphone. I want to say that it is my opinion that Mr. Speaker, with all due respect, is seen to be playing to the gallery here. He is not real. He is not real with the issues. He is not addressing the issues. Asking Akbabio to name those uh, members of the House who have been given contract is not the issue. The issue is that Mr. Goswil Akbabio was stopped from listing those members at the floor of the, of the public hearing. So they should reinvite Mr. Gosu Lakpabu and Mr. Gosu Lakpabu or tell Nigeria the members who got those contracts. Mr. Oniga. And so I think that is what, yes, I've come with you. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm interjecting to say that he now has an opportunity to do that. He might have been interrupted. Uh, we'll get to talk about maybe the fear behind the interjection by the acting chairman of that committee. But the time yeah. frame given is 48 hours. Do you think, my initial question was, do you think he will provide this um, information, these details within this time frame? And to add to it, the if he not does... Obligated. He's not obligated to answer the speaker in that manner. And the speaker, let's, let's this is a democracy. Let's say the way it is. 
Let us say the way it is. But for um, someone who makes, you said, I mean, the, 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 accuser, the accuser, if he has facts. Not, let me hear you. If he has facts, he said that as confidently as anyone, uh, we all watched it on live television. He seemed very confident. So yeah. should he have any problem with providing this list of uh, people? Anyone would say, I mean, yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. A he should not have a problem providing the list, but he is not obligated to go by the notice of the speaker. That is what we must put right. The speaker does not have a right to tell Mr. Mr. Gosio Lakpabio, Minister of the United States, to publish those names within that period. You know, he can, the, the House can also do a private investigation into its members who collected contracts from the NGDC. And like I, would, I would insist that the speaker is plain to the gallery in this regard. The speaker is playing to the gallery in this regard. But if, he's well, not let's, 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 about, let's imagine a scenario. Let's, let's imagine a scenario where, where Senator Akpabio does go ahead and present a list of those who were given contracts in the night assembly by the NDDC. What could be the effect of this? The, there, is no, there is no effect. The, the only effect we see is that they should and ought to be relieved of their position as members of a committee, of the NDDC. You cannot oversee a committee. The essence of the committees in the House of Houses of Assembly, be it in the Senate or in the House of Reps, is to make for checks and balances, is to scrutinize, is to supervise, is to look inwards and to look into what the commission is doing in the interest of Nigerians and in the interest of Niger Deltans, who are the actual focus of the commission. That is the intention of these committees. You cannot be a judge in your own case. You cannot be a judge. You cannot be probing, whereas your hands are tied. You cannot be taking contracts from the NDDC and you sit on a pro panel. You cannot be budgeting for the NDDC and be collecting contracts from the NDDC. Yeah, but and Oniga, so the point here Oniga, be... in an in an El Dorado world, if this is a situation, yes, you, you're saying he's not obliged to respond to the speaker, but in a world where everything should be the same, if he presents this, don't you think that Nigerians will respond and it will give some credence? Because if he does not, it puts to question some of the uh, allegations and comments that he made before the House Committee. Yes, Mr. I, I would advise Mr. Goswin Lakwabio to go ahead and let Nigerians know. Because you should know that Goswin Lakwabio is, 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 is not a coward. You, you saw his presentation at the, at the public hearing. He is not a coward. He's ready to spill the bean. It, it, it could be seen to be a dog-eat-dog -dog, um, um, scenario playing out, but it's all good. It's in the interest of Nigerians. So he's been called upon to give account for his stewardship in the Niger Delta to account for money spent, and he's saying, oh, you guys sitting over there on the other side of the table attempting to probe me, you do not have... Um, 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 your hands are soiled because most of the contracts are coming to you. So I would advise, all things being equal, Mr. Kwabio to go ahead and let Nigerians know this probe, probe is in the interest of Nigeria and Nigerians. So I would advise him to do so. But however, I would insist the speaker does not have a right to give him an ultimatum as to time. Okay, you, you, right you said something that's account. pretty interesting. The, the probe is about the finances of the NDDC. Now, since the beginning of that right. probe, we've had several dramas. We had the um, ex-NDDC um, MD talk about, make allegations yeah. against uh, Mr. Akpabio. We had the uh, Mr. Akpabio himself appear, and then he's making oh, allegations. We oh, have the, the IMC um, um, guy coming oh, in oh. and slumping, slumping during the uh, falling sick during the process. We've had one drama or the other that distracts from the focus of the probe. So would, would you say this is less of a distraction, considering that now we're not talking about the monies and all the uh, contracts that were said to have been um, wrongly um, uh, contracted. We're talking about accusation that members of the committee who should, and members of the National Assembly, who should have some oversight function with these people are guilty of corruption. 
Hello? Yeah. Yes. So you did initially okay. uh, ask the question saying that all in the uh, uh, where uh, uh, please could you put, put up the television where you are? Could you put up the television where you are? No, no, no. My television is mute. It's muted. My okay. television is muted. Okay, go ahead. My television is muted. So you are you painted an El Dorado situation where all things are equal and you put square pegs. In square, in, in square holes and round pegs in round holes. Yes, they, this is a deliberate flaw by both the minister of the Niger Delta and also even the members of the house to distract Nigerians from the nitty gritty of the inquiry. And this is the attitude of our politicians. And they have, they are, they have become masters at their game to the extent that they have succeeded at it over and over and over again. They are calling the shots. They are saying they are having a public hearing, but we have been distracted from the billions of Naira that were put into public pockets that were, that were intended for public good. Nobody is talking about how much was paid for um, um, overseas graduation that was to hold in September and monies are already paid in July for somebody to travel in September. What is the hurry? When we get to September, you will get the money and you will travel. You know, nobody's talking about the COVID-19 relief packages that were paid into personal accounts, directors of the NDDC, you know? Nobody's talking about that anymore. Nobody's talking about the, the, the weighty allegations of billions of Naira paid out of the treasury of the NDDC in one day. That is no longer the focus of the conversation. That is also where the press also comes in. When the politicians try to stagger and to move us, toss us to and fro, I think as a people and as a press, we need to know what we want. We need to ask questions and we need to stop letting the politicians call the shots. Mr. The politicians Mr. have we, called we the shots for too long. To so that. That, and they are aware that they can ride over our heads. So uh, that is Mr. why Liga. we are being distracted as it were. This is a distraction, I would say. Uh, we'll definitely get to the part about the press because he did make a comment to, to that effect. But let's uh, quickly welcome uh, Mr. Remy Adiboye, who uh, finally joins us via telephone. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll just go quickly and ask you your reaction to uh, the entire scenario. Uh, I mean, 48 hours old to make time. Will Senator Kwabio respond? <laughs> Oh, oh. Mr. Ajiboye, can you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing. Okay, I'm, I'm putting the, the fresh question to you. Uh, since you're just joining us, let's get your perspective on that before we move on to other issues. I'm asking, 48 hours, do you see Mr. Kwabio responding even before that 48 hours ultimatum is over? Hello? Uh, Mr. Ajiboye, um, I asked a question. I was asking your reaction to the speaker, asking Mr. Pabio to, you know, give a list of the name of uh, lawmakers that have gotten contract to the NDDC. What do you think will happen? Will he respond? Yeah, my, my immediate response to what is happening on uh, Pabio's uh, confession that uh, over 60% of the contracts were given to the legislators. And uh, the Speaker of the House has directed that uh, Mr. Fabio or Senator Fabio to come forward with the names of those people given the awards. I want to subscribe to the position of the Speaker. The names of the people given the contracts must be published. Honestly speaking, for people like me, this is a prayer I've been praying for more than seven years. And it's like God is answering our prayers now. And uh, our Fabio asked to publish the names of the people he said they collected contracts. Do you see that this is the happening? starting point, honestly speaking. Do you see this happening? What do you think it will happen that Fabio will go ahead because he seemed uh, quite confident when he made the accusation? Honestly speaking, Fabio does not have alternative. All that that to give the names of the people he mentioned. You know, this was an oath. He said 
that uh, he has some names that were given contract. So he has to make the names available to Nigerians. We want to see these names. We will scrutinize the names and we will confirm whether it is true that they collected the contract from the NDDC. It is important. Mr. And we are, what, we are waiting for this keenly. What if he fails? What if he fails to uh, present these names in 48 hours? Okay, what did I think about the name coming out? No, no, no. I'm asking, what if Senator Akpabio fails to present that list? We present the names. Yes, if he fails to... It's better happens? for him. He doesn't have alternative. He does not have option. Just present the names. We are interested. It has been said that he has names that collected contracts from the NDDC. If he must progress, he has to forward or furnish us with the names. Then we pick those people up immediately. All right, let's go back to Mr. Oniga. Uh, the same question, I'm going to just uh, flip it on its head and ask, what would be the full wrath of the law threatened by the speaker? What would it look like if Akpabio fails to present that list? You, you, you know, I, I have said that we should not play to sentiments. And Nigerians love to play to sentiments. So when we speak facts, as professionals, we're not we are talking always sentiments now. To I'm be, speaking to you based on what always, the Speaker of the House of Representatives said. He said that if Okpabio uh, fails to present that list in 48 hours, he will be made to face the full wrath of the law. I do not know what law the Speaker is talking about. I do not know what law Mr. Okpabio will be made to, 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 to face. I do not, I'm a lawyer. I do not know what law, go, um, former Governor Gosio Lakpabio, now Minister of the United States, will be made to face for not go, go, um, going, um, go, 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 um, um, doing things according to the timeline, in which the speaker has said, publishing the names of those who have gotten contracts. Lakpabio was in the house. Nigerians need to be smart. We are being used. The, Mr. Speaker is playing to the gallery. There is nothing he will do, and there's nothing he can do because Governor Gosu, the former Governor Gosu, was at the, at, the, at, the, at the floor. You know, when you are at committee level, it's as good as being at, 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 at plenary. And he wanted to mention the names. The acting chairman of that committee stopped him, asked him to shut up his mic, and all of a sudden, you're sitting uh, in your office and writing letters to him, think, and you're telling him to publish in, it. He's not know. obligated. Mr. But Niga. in the interest of Nigerians and in the interest of justice and to clear his name, it is good that Mr. Pabio does this. But he is not under any law or oath whatsoever to do so because he was there to state his claims. He was refused from, 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 from doing so. So Mr. Speaker should be inviting the acting chairman of that panel and should be querying the acting chairman of the panel from stopping Mr. Gosu Akpabio to tell Nigerians the truth of the matter. Akpabio wanted to say, so Mr. Speaker, should, we are not stupid. I am not stupid. And Mr. Speaker should know that. There is nothing he can do at this point. Mr. However, Nika, you, you also need to, um, uh, um, I mean, pause when I try to interject so it doesn't look like I'm uh, interrupting you all the time. Um, you, 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 you made okay. a point that the um, he's not obliged, and I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you. But again, if Mr. Fabio, I mean, had no issues with saying these are the names, he, he shouldn't have any problem uh, presenting uh, uh, the list. We've established that. So let me just go to, I'll come back to you in a bit, but let me go to Mr. Ajibo, um, Ad, Ajiboye and talk about the flip side. The speaker is playing to the gallery. That's what Mr. Oniga is saying. Do you agree with him? Is this all sentiment or is there something to be gleaned from all of it? My, I, to I totally disagree, disagree with him. Mr. Speaker is not playing to anything like gallery. There's no gallery here. The, the whole thing is open to everybody. As Fabio said, he has names of people that collected contracts, that they were awarded contracts. So where is the gallery coming from? He should give us the names. What are you talking about? Leave the speaker out of this thing. We are talking about moral and ethics here. Leave law totally. We are not concerned about law now. This moral matter and this ethics matter. So we have All to right. get to the bottom of the case. He has to give us the names 
of the people that were given the awards in the, in the assembly. All right, let, let's until, go back. Until that is done, this case cannot be rested. All right, um, let's try and move this conversation a little. I think both of you have made your stance uh, well um, known at this point. You agree that the um, senator should present the list, but why you say he's obliged, Mr. Nigger says, um, no, he's not obliged. So let's, let's move the conversation. Uh, your take, if you please. Uh, the speaker's reaction to the point of order called by Mr. Elumelu, you actually alluded to it earlier, Mr. Oniga, uh, when you talked about the role of the press. He said that it is unfortunate that it was the journalist who helped Senator Akpabio in amplifying what, in his words, we all know is untrue. How appropriate is this comment? And where is the blame for the media in all of this? Okay, so the point is this. There is a senator. I'm answering your question. I'm not, I'm not deviating. There's a senator who, got, who is said to have gotten 300 contracts from the NDDC. 300, one senator. Nothing has happened to him. He's still the senator and he's fine. I don't know if he is still a member of the NDDC committee in the Senate, but I don't think he has been removed because I've not read any news in that regard. Right now, Mr. Elumelu cannot say that it is not true. He cannot say that it is not true because these allegations have been made times and times again. Recall that not too far, not too not, not too far ago, Mr. Festus Kayamo also accused the Senate that they wanted to hijack the recruitment process for the, the 771 local government or thereabouts. Okay. So there have been this case of interest. The house does not come, the, the law, if you come to equity, you must come with clean hands. These people who sit in pro panels or in panels of public hearing in the house have their hands soiled. So the press all needs to help guide Nigerians to ensure that we do not get distracted by the tetrics and the, the scripts that is being played by the politicians. That's all I'm saying for the press. Mr. Ndidi is wrong in accusing the press in that manner. The press only reports what is the fact and what is the truth. However, I am saying that you as the press should help us not to be distracted by the um, um, tetrics of, of these politicians. Look at um, what happened to Ponda, Professor Ponda. I don't know how, how to, but we all saw what happened. We can judge for ourselves. Look at um, um, look at the joy, newness issue. Look at Gosling Akpabio's um, insult as to the fact that, oh, she's married five times. These are all distractions. So I'm asking that those of you in the press should help us stay the course in the line of these conversations. Let us, don't allow us to be distracted. Guard all our right. ma minds. When the politicians want to play around this, guard our minds I think and that's ensure the that we ask this conversation questions is... as stakeholders. That's the reason this conversation uh, is so important. I'll come back to you, Mr. Adjiboye. How important do you think uh, the revelations in the ongoing investigation into the finances of the NDDC is in the larger scheme of things? Hello? I'm asking how you are... The ongoing investigation and the revelations that we are getting, how important is it um, for uh, the people, particularly of the Niger Delta? Well, um, what is happening now and the revelations that we are having is a pointer to the fact that, one, the people that we put in positions, they are betrayers. They are not interested in us and they are ready to do anything that will sustain them and that we match it everybody. It is clear that uh, with what is happening now, all the money that they're supposed to have uh, expended on developmental projects, the money is crept into individuals' uh, accounts. It goes to show that, that people that we have been putting in positions are not sincere, are not sensitive, and they don't even know that what they are doing is even dangerous to their existence. And that is why they are continuing in this line of action against themselves. And we are thanking God for all of these revelations. All right. And uh, we have to continue from these revelations. 
we have to pursue it with all our energy. Okay. To I'm, see I'm being... that at the end of the day, whatever money committed for project purpose is used for projects, not the money going to individuals are can All right, no Mr. Ajiboye. Enough is enough. I don't want to use some words. Uh, uh, you certainly shouldn't, to please. This is live television. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Thank you very much, Mr. Ajiboye. I'm just trying to. Uh, I'm told we have yeah. very limited time, so I'll just uh, quickly okay. push a question to uh, Mr. Bernard Oniga. The sitting was uh, adjourned indefinitely uh, Monday. Do you see? Um, the committee reconvening soon, or was the information given enough for the House to do their work in your thinking? You, you know, I have said that what is happening is akin to a stage play. We have seen this over and over again. I do not know, so the big question to our post to where are we heading to with all of this? Where are we heading to? What will be the outcome? Will it be, as Mr. Ajiboye has said, that we would be able, EF, the EFCC will step in, investigate, and prosecute those who ought to be prosecuted? What is the motive behind this probe? I do not know what the House intends to achieve with it. Well, I'm but asking, I want do you to see them reconvening? That. Do you see them reconvening soon? Or the information that has been gleamed? Do the you perceive? The has said that they, may, they, will, they, may, they will not reconvene any soon. And it, 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 it's a signal that maybe the probe has come to an end. But it, it will not be good if the probe comes to an end. It will not even be good for the image of the speaker. It will not be good for the image of the Ninth Assembly. So this probe has to continue. And if it doesn't continue, let me make a promise on live television. I will be in Abuja to lead the protest for this probe to continue. This right, probe has to continue. And everyday Nigerians like you and I should also be allowed in to ask questions. Okay. Um, I'm afraid continue. that's the most. It time. has to continue for the integrity of the house. So I want to believe that the probe will continue. The it, the committee has to reconvene as quickly as possible. Mr. They have Amiga. no reason not to reconvene. Thank you very much uh, for your submission on the program tonight. It is appreciated. My pleasure. Uh, Mr. Jiboye, your final thoughts in 30 seconds, if you please. Okay, thank you. We are we are heading to simple. Looters are doomed finally, finally. Whether anybody likes it or not, there is nowhere they can run to, no eating places for anybody. This time right. around, we are going to get it right. And we are going to have our independence finally. We are yet to have our independence with this kind of leaders that are in position. But I am out of high hope that we are going to have our independence. We get rid of all of them. All right, Mr. Ajiboye. Thank, Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming on the program. It's appreciated. Thank you. My pleasure. Have a lovely evening. All right, let's take a short break now. And when we return, we'll be discussing Akiwumi Adishina and his achievements at the African Development Bank. Don't go away. <laughs>